It is imperative that measures be put in place to prevent sexual violence in our society, as well as to respond to the needs of the survivors. Understanding the myths and realities of sexual violence, what constitutes consensual sex, ensuring that the blame for sexual violence lies with the perpetrators, and working towards making them a part of the solution are some of the ways we can start our journey towards preventing sexual violence. When emergency strikes, women overcome immense obstacles to provide care and safety for others, even as their own vulnerabilities increase. A survivor-centered approach means that all those who are engaged in programming to prevent and address violence against women and men prioritize the rights, needs, and wishes of the survivor. A healthcare provider may be the first and only person a survivor ever approaches, and the quality of the care provided may have short and long-term impacts on the well-being of the survivor and the survivor's willingness to disclose. Male survivors are less likely than women to report the incident because of extreme embarrassment, shame, criminalization of same-sex relationships, slowness of institutions and health workers to recognize the extent of the problem. The clinical management of children requires attention. Children are often victims of repeated abuse. I don't want you to sign my new business. But I've seen a set of bruises on your skin lately. What is wrong? It's nothing really. Patsy, you, you don't have to take this. Me and Fred is getting it out one and two times. Patsy, you know you could get help. No one should have to live like that. If you or someone you know is being abused, call the 914 Gender-Based Violence Hotline to seek help. We must ensure safe access to basic reproductive health services, proper clinical management of rape for survivors, and the establishment of women-friendly spaces where women can socialize, receive information, acquire skills, and receive support. Download and use the iMatter app to get immediate help from anywhere in Guyana for any form of abuse sexual violence, sexual abuse, sexual exploitation, child marriages, domestic violence, trafficking, elderly abuse, or child abuse. <laughs>